Now we're on problem 13. So problem 13 reads, if y equals f of x is a continuous function so that f prime of 3 is equal to 0 and f double prime of 3 is equal to negative 4, then f has a relative minimum at x equals 3. So we want to see if this is true or false. So quickly, let's recall. If f prime of x is equal to 0, then this implies one of two things. There's a maximum at that x value or a minimum at that x value. To determine if it's a max or min, we need to see if it's increasing, decreasing, or decreasing, increasing. Another thing, f double prime of x, if that is greater than 0, this implies that at, at that x value, it's concave up. If it's less than 0, then it implies that at x value, it's concave down. Okay, so with that information given, let's come back to what they give us. So given, so given that f prime of 3 equals 0, this implies that at x equals 3, two things can happen. There's either min or max. So at x equals 3, there is either a min or a max. So we don't know yet. However, they give us f double prime at 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 is less than 0, so according to the second derivative test with concavity, if f double prime of x is less than 0, in this case it is, negative 4 is less than 0, then it's concave down. This implies that at x equals 3, it's concave down. And if you have concave down, you have something like this. So if you have something like this, you have a maximum. So that means at 3, at x equals 3, you have a max. So at x equals 3, you have a max, so it's not min. And here it says that f has to be a relative min at x equals 3. That's totally false. So false.